Hello, this video is to document a sample part that we printed at GoProto using the Hewlett Packard multi-jet fusion process, 3D printing process using nylon 12 material. This particular part was printed and then dyed black. The purpose of this part is to show, this is just a fantastical part that shows a bunch of different uh, part features that we wanted to show uh, that exemplify the power of 3D printing in HP's multi-jet fusion. For example, we printed a geometry that wouldn't be manufacturable in any other conventional process such as machining or injection molding. Uh, also, the part is able to have features printed in assembly. So this has a uh, shaft that goes through, a rotating part back there, and then this little dial that uh, steps on the different detents here. And then inside is a moving valve that you can see primarily just in that it blocks the light, where we have a little valve that goes back and forth as you select the dial to the different detents. Wouldn't be manufacturable any other way. You can also see inside these shafts are printed in threads that again wouldn't be manufacturable any other way. Uh, here is a captive screw that as I rotate this little feature you can see that it spins freely. So if you were assembling this part onto say a scope or some other feature where it slides on with this uh, trapped feature, uh, you'd be able to screw the part right in place. Down toward the bottom here we have uh, these these features that are printed purposefully in ways that would be very difficult to machine. They uh, extend around the part radially, uh, would be very difficult to machine, and they also are shaped in a rounded format which would, would generally show very high um, build layer problems in here, you see that there are very few. The part itself, uh, you can see some of the tessellation that was from the STL file that was used to print this part, which again we did on purpose to show that it uh, is important that resolution be set high and that the process has enough accuracy to show those, uh, those features. Here we have text, or our logo, and then text along the bottom so you can see how well that shows. This part was printed laying down and you can see that all the way around features look incredibly sharp. There is no sacrificial surface like there has been in serial lithography or object or uh, the other printing processes where you have support structures on the bottom since this process is powder based. Inside here we have a, this vent mesh that it would be impossible to machine and then inside there it's difficult to see here on video but there is a, um, a fan basically just a, a little fan vent here that's uh, down at the bottom that again would be very difficult or impossible to machine. Well, lastly, the important part here is the strength of this process. I have another part laying on the floor. I weigh about 180 pounds. I'm going to put my weight on the part and then take my foot off. I can balance well off on the other part. And you see that the part uh, lives just, just great. Uh, thank you for viewing.